what's going on guys welcome back terror squad welcome back to the one and only i am the one that will bring you the most spectacular read throughs of all times i am the big cliche i am big papa pump without the pump i am the rock that is never hard ah, ha, ha, ha. king kong got a lot on me it's the one the only t b r and i would just like to say you're welcome <laughs> Yes, we are here once again with another reaction of the Berserk manga read through. Hope you guys, um, you guys have tremendously supported the first video, of course, of the first chapter. And I would just like to say, man, thank you guys so much for all the feedback. And as we continue, we are going to get more into um just doing things a certain way um that hopefully as we go through um the the rituals we get a lot more we'll get a lot better as i do them um as you can see i've been working on a little bit of an intro there to introduce it like <laughs> you know somebody said it reminds them um they liked it the way i do it the podcast style um so I don't know if you guys would want me to add. I don't. I don't want to add any music or anything. I just want to continue to do it the way that I'm doing it, but improve it. Maybe add some little things to it. Um, just as a consensus, I would love to know if you guys are watching this on YouTube or if you're going to the Google Drive to get the full reaction with the panels and everything, or if you're following me on youtube um <clears throat> you guys should know by now that i'm not going to be putting up the panels on youtube it's just going to be a still image there um to cover up the panels but the full reaction link will be down in, in the description of course hopefully everything goes well um when it comes on to it being on the google drive it's going to be split up in parts but i will upload a full video to, to youtube if you just want to just listen in listen to me while you're doing whatever you're doing and you don't want to follow me but you know how the manga goes already then that's fine too i'm gonna to be doing i'm gonna be editing and kind of putting the page number as i go along um just to give you an update i'm not gonna be doing one two three four i'm what i'm going to do because that's too much work i would have to go back and edit it edit all those page numbers in one by one and i don't want to do that knowing that um each of these chapters are like 60 70 pages that's a bit too much for me to go through all of that just uh, so what i'm going to do is like every 10 pages that i do or so i will give you guys an update of where i am okay um as a pages so you don't get lost okay completely lost as to where i am even though if you're following me in the manga what i'm reading you should know what page i'm on if you're following me or if you're watching the full reaction it doesn't really matter right so as we go along i'm hoping that things get better um i might add certain things to to um to the reaction i'm i'm gonna try to do these and release them um, on a weekly basis, maybe, um, I don't know if I'll be able to do two per week, but I'm definitely sure that I can do one per week. So I don't want to promise you guys that I, that I can get you two reactions per week or read throughs per week, but I can definitely promise you one per week, especially since that, um, this Sunday, um, is the last episode of game of Thrones. Um, can't wait for that to be over unfortunately i it's like i want the disaster to stop <laughs> you know so let's jump into this reaction man i hope hopefully you guys come back here whether you're watching it on youtube i'm gonna keep uploading the video to youtube um or you want to go watch the full reaction on the google drive if you guys if it gets overcrowded on the google drive then i will start uploading it to bitchute but right now i'm not having that problem so let's jump into this man it's been great Hope you guys enjoyed um, the little intro. It was something I just came up with because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> so 
Hope you guys enjoyed that, man. And we're going to jump into the read-through. So take a quick break, let you know that full description. The full reaction is in the description. And then we'll be back for the reaction. Let's get it. Boom! All right, guys, welcome back. I am here, Mr. Terabai Reacts, ready to do this read through, man. Berserk. This chapter is called The Brand. So I'm guessing this is going to be about the um the brand sign on his neck. I don't even know what kind of sign it is or whatever the situation is, but I I don't know. It has something to do with how powerful he is, or maybe he was branded by a, a demon or something. I don't know what it is, but hopefully this chapter explains it in some sort of way or give us some sort of hint or something. Because, I mean, why would you name the chapter the brand and then it has nothing to do with the damn story? Didn't <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you don't tell us anything about the brand. So let's jump into this, man. Okay, so we got Berserk here starting off right off bat right here. You cannot ex you cannot ex escape us. Okay. Apparently somebody is attacking him because he looks worn out. Okay, he said, you cannot escape. I look like something is trying to eat him. Ooh. Look like he pulled a sword. Looks like he pulled a sword. There. What are these things, man? Is this more succubuses? <laughs> they just look so weird. And as I said, man, the details, you know, in this anime, in this manga <laughs> is very good. And I like the drawing, how clear it is and how detailed it is. So we got Mr. Puck here, the elf, right? Got a bird landing. Is he riding? <laughs> he was riding on the bird. Wow. How small is he? How small is he? Thanks, mister. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. That's funny. He's talking now. Puck is talking. That's funny. I was sure he was going in this direction. How could I lose him if this is the only path? Oh, well. Maybe wolves ate him or something. You just saw this guy just kill. Kill. One of the biggest monsters you've ever seen that scared you to that. And you think wolves are going to eat him? For real? Come on, man. He said, what? He fell out of the tree. Right where Guts is at. Okay. So, Puck looks up. Saw that it's Guts. Okay. He's hurt, obviously. He was just in a fight. Okay. He says, Guts. Guts is like, you again? Hey. This elf is like, hey, how you doing? Okay. Guts is like, Guts says, what happened to you? Did wolves, no, that is that, no, that's, oh, that's the elf talking. Man, he should, Puck does not shut up, man. <laughs> A lot of talking from Puck here. What happened to you? Did wolves attack you? Uh-oh, those wounds from before are opening up again. Okay. For some reason, every time we meet, you're all torn up. Want me to heal you again? <laughs> so Guts grabs him. I'm like, hey, Bug, what are you doing here? And the elf replies, the name's Puck. Try not to forget it. <laughs> Guts keep looking at him. He's like, well, the thing is, it's interesting, all this monster stuff. It's the kind of thing you only hear about in myths, myths or epic poems. But you're it, the real deal. Is this more of that elven? Oh, oh so Guts is saying, is, is this more of that elven sense of duty? And Puck replies, nah. I figured if I hung around you, I'd get to see all sorts of neat things. Because <laughs> I look in his face like, 
What you talking about? <laughs> this is like, and he drops Puck in the puddle. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is, Puck is like, what you do that for? Uh, the guts. Ah, uh, sorry, but I'm in no mood to keep any pets. Puck, Puck says, who said? I want it to be your pet. And one more thing. Oh, Guts is savage right now. I don't like elves, and I don't like you. Wow. Puck replies, but why? Like, it, it pisses me off when I see weaklings. I feel like I want to crush them. <laughs> because you're weak. <laughs> Uh, they can't do a thing on their own. All they ever do is talk and buzz around people like flies. Makes me want to squash them. <laughs> Splash. Oh my god. Puck is devastated right now. You, you bastard. <laughs> oh my. Um, Guts walks away, of course. All right. So, looks like Guts is um, being passed by some a dude in a wagon, not a wagon, carriage, whatever you want to call it. It's like, you need a ride? The rain's pretty heavy. Guts replies, no, leave me be. And the man replies, it's no, tr it's no trouble, there's more than enough room for another person in here. And Guts replies, sorry, um, sorry, I'm no good with priest. Aha, it's better than catching a call, though, yes? Guts is like, I'm telling you this for your own good. What is this thing about priest? Oh, so Guts says, I'm being pursued by evil spirits, a legion of them. So immediately the guy's like surprised. He's like, "The hell are you talking about, man?" <laughs> it's like, "Wow, that's quite an affliction." But don't worry, my friend. I have God on my side. Not to mention a lucky spirit. Like, spirit? Guts replies. So the man is insisting that guts get on the damn thing. Come on, get on, get on. So Gus says, well, why not? What do I care if something happens to them? <laughs> uh, but the, it looks like um, from the the brand is hurting, hurting him. So he's like, ow. Okay, so he took off. He went with them in the carriage. Okay. So Puck was on the car. He was on the Puck was on the carriage. Okay. So Puck is like, I was here first. So you got no right to complain this time. What? <laughs> ah, he threw the towel over, <laughs> over Puck. Um, so this girl that's on the wagon, I don't know, the priest's daughter or something. was like, so she's like, have some if you'd like. It's homemade wine. It'll warm you up. Oh, the puck wants some. She's like, oh, me too, me too. <laughs> She's jumping up and down. Okay, so those. Oh, so she re recognizes the wounds. And she, said, she says, those awful wounds. What happened? Uh, the gut's still being so standoff. He's like, like I said, evil spirits are after me. So she says, that can't be true that can't be true can it oh so it is his daughter the priest replies hey hey don't frighten my daughter too much by the way is that some sort of sword bro this sword is too big bro look at the size of this thing that that he's walking around with the thing when he sits down it it's like half of his back wide like that's nuts man the size of that sword bro 
<laughs> He's like, nah, I use it for cooking. <laughs> oh, and then the priest, the priest says, it looks like you could cut a horse in half with that thing. Why not just open up a roadside grill? You can earn a better living that way, you bum. <laughs> oh, oh, that wasn't the priest. That was Puck. Okay, that was Puck says that. Puck said that. Okay, so we got um, Gus looking at Puck again. But, uh, so the priest says, by the looks of it, you appear to be a mercenary. Is that what you are? Okay, so Guts replies, well, something like that. Ah, so the priest says, I don't have much respect for that profession. Killing other people for a living? Live by the sword, die by the sword. So many of us believe in that. <laughs> Live by the sword, die by the sword. Um, so Guts says, that's why I don't like priests. Please. <laughs> so the priest says, please don't say that. Okay. A priest continues with his conversation. He's like, my nephew also chose to live by the sword and left home as soon as he could. Five years ago, he lost his life on a battlefield. Just some lowly soldier with no name. If he were alive today, he'd probably have his own family by now. He could have enjoyed the simple pleasures of life. How foolish of him. So God says, what's wrong with that? He died doing what he wanted, no matter what, right? I bet he was happy. It's a great perspective, right? Like, of course, once you die, that's it. Nothing comes after that. Nothing at all. The puck is still like, he, he, puck is listening, getting a bit of a perspective on who Guts is here in this moment. Okay, so we have, well... I'm going to try to get a little sleep now. So the, the daughter replies, you could catch a cold. So she gave him a blanket, it seems. Uh, yeah, she gave him a blanket. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. She's cute. Okay, so it says what? So she's, she's looking at Puck. Puck is, why? What? A, why are you looking at me? I can't help but smile. <laughs> so Guts falls asleep. It seems. What is this eyeball? Why are eyeballs looking at him? So it looks like he slips into a state. Like he's having a weird dream. He's, he's in a tunnel of sorts. He's in some sort of tunnel here. In his dream. Water up to his ankles and he's naked weird okay he's naked he doesn't seem to be panicking but he seems like something is following him though and he's trying to figure out what it is this brand okay so he's holding the brand again even in the dream state here he's holding the brand it's right and a voice comes out and says you cannot run from us whoa so some stuff came out of the ground some spikes got him in the in the foot uh, it looked like he did he set off a trap something got him in the foot spikes came up got him in the foot and he has to oh he has to pull it off oh my god and his like arrow heads like arrowhead spikes, man. Oh my god, and he has to pull his foot off of that. Ugh. I can feel it. Ooh. So he's like in pain. He pulls he looks like he pulls off his foot. A voice comes out again. You cannot run. Oh my god, what is that? What is that, bro? You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of I don't know if you guys have ever watched um Starship Troopers. Um, is that the name of that movie? Yes. I think it's Starship Troopers. That movie that it just makes no sense. <laughs> but it's like humans against insects and it's in space. Um, I'm trying to remember if that's the name of the movie. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the movie. 
But it was like three of them movies, and none of them movies made sense. It was, it was like it was fun to watch the movies, but the movies made no sense. You know what I'm saying? The storyline made no sense at all. It was like funny but serious at the same time because at any moment, somebody important to the storyline could die because nobody's protected nobody's the one guy that you that is the star of the show he just continuously gets promoted and um the insect i think it i don't remember it, it, it was a mother insect in this show and this thing looks just like the mother insect big fat pudgy ill looking right so, if you guys remember that, put it in the comment section, man. Because I'm pretty sure that's the name of the movie. But it was like it was like a big brain. And all these insects, like all the other different type of insects, like it seems like that was the mother insect. And it looked just like this. Just like this. This ugly. But it had a lot of eyes, though. That was the difference. That's the difference. It had a lot of eyes. So... Big pudgy monster comes out, gut screams, but it does. It's not even that big. It just it's a small little thing here. What is that? And why is he being attacked? It looks like he woke up, and he was attacked by this little thing. So, what is this? An a squid? <laughs> That's weird. So the squid. He was being attacked in a dream. Turns out it's a squid on his face. <laughs> wow. So he woke up. Woke up everybody on 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 the uh, on the carriage, including Puck. Puck wakes up <laughs> and sees the squid right beside him. Beside him. So the daughter comes in like, "Hey, hey, what happened?" So, it looks like she hit the squid. Or some somebody hit the squid. It's like Kia or whatever. It's like, what is that thing? What is that thing? You guys don't know what a squid is? It's a what? That thing is a squid, bruh. It, it, so, Guts says, it's an incubus. They are evil spirits that give people nightmares and feed off their fear. Oh, okay. So that's how, why he was, okay. So it says, damn, they won't even give me time to sleep. Damn, they, damn. Man can't even sleep without demons and spirits bothering him. So the priest says, evil spirits? You mean what you said before was true? So all this time he still didn't believe guts when he was talking? Oh my, that's that's real sad. That's real sad. Right now we are on page 31, guys. We're on page 31. So we're halfway there already, which is surprising to me. Um So So all this time he still didn't believe what Guts was saying. Okay, so, so God replies, so you're saying you believe in God, but not in evil spirits? So, um, Puck is asking, why did it come after you? Okay, so God says, because of this, this thing summons them. Okay, so Puck says, the brand does. The brand does? And it's bleeding. Okay, so it says, so it's bleeding again. So he hops off the carriage, it seems, and tells them, stay, in, stay inside. So, he says, Incubi are born of the mixed blood and sexual fluids of those who died filled with hatred and malice which means that somewhere around here there must be some corpses of bandits or the like who died violently corpses that the demons will possess and use to attack ah okay 
Okay, so he, he knows what's coming. So I'm guessing when he's close to these evil spirits, I guess that's what causes the brand to bleed. Okay, because remember the last time in the last chapter, that's pretty much pretty much what happened when it was when it when it started to bleed. It, it was like it's go time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or like recall back to when it started. It started to bleed. I think back when he was still in the jail cell, right? Um, if I remember correctly, I think that's when it started to bleed in the last chapter, and that's when all the stuff was happening on the battlefield. When when um when the when the Baron was attacking the town, right? So I think that's when, ev I think that's when the brand started bleeding. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm, yeah, I'm about ninety percent sure. I could be wrong, but you guys definitely go and let me know. Okay, I can't go back and check. Right. I don't want to go check right now, but I'll check my facts later, of course. So, yeah. So like. The cat, the, the horses are panicking because, of course, the horses are panicking because they can sense danger. Um, so, Guts, the daughter gets out of the carriage. Guts is like, stupid girl, don't get out of the carriage. She's like, but, but, oh, my. See, this is why idiots should always listen to when people talk, because when you know when you hear people talk, you do never. Oh my god, she just got impaled, bro. She just got impaled out of nowhere. I don't even know. He couldn't. Um, freaking guts couldn't even react fast enough to even save her. She's out of there, down for the... Look at this, dude. It's corpses coming out of the woods. Corpses coming out of the woods, man. And the, the priest is crying out, Colette! So I guess that's her name. But she's done. Freaking skeletons coming out of the woods, bro. Coming out of the woods. Guts is like, looks like this must have been some old battlefield. Very old. I mean... Ooh, and they got her so good, man. So good. I don't even think she's going to be able to survive the, that. It looked like she died instantly. So they start to attack. Guts, um, Guts of course, hit him, hit him with the, um, with the crossbow arrows right but it's not slowing them down they're not flesh so i wouldn't think that that would work against them so guts is like it's no use you can't kill something that's already dead we better get out of here okay so like if you want to go go by yourself oh so guts Who is saying that? It seems like it seems like um Puck is the one that said um that we better get out of here. So Guts replies and says, "If you want to go, go by yourself." And ah, he's like, "But why? It's pointless. There's too many. You're gonna get killed." Guts said comes with the territory guts is always ready to fight oh he pulls the sword oh man he pulling the sword it's over body's gonna drop Ah, oh, he's just knocking them away like they're just nothing it's gotta be some sort of power to this sword. It can't just be it's just not a regular sword. There's gotta be something spiritual about the sword, it seems, because if if it destroys evil spirits like this, whereas in destroy them and they stay down, if he can use the sword to do that, that simply means it, it telling me that there's gotta be something spiritual about the sword. There's gotta be something, some sort of spiritual energy from that sword. Right? That's what I'm deducing right now. So, 
He's taking care of business, knocking them about. I didn't think that skeletons were going to be um, much of a challenge, right? So he's knocking them around, but it seems like they're not going down, you see. It seems like they're not staying down, or are they? I don't know. So he knocks them around again, keeps knocking them down, knocking them down. They keep coming. They keep coming. Um, Gus is screaming his lungs out, but it looks like he's chopping them down, and it seems like it's a huge battlefield. That's how, That was here because they just keep coming. So Puck is looking for from a distance, and he's like, it doesn't matter if his opponents are living or dead, right? It doesn't matter if his opponents are living or dead. He says, wow. So he's just knocking them down, man. So, so looks like Puck goes back into the wagon and says, what happened, old man? Uh, uh, looks like she's astonished to find something. So Puck calls out to Guts. Guts' re reply, shut up. Can't you see? I'm, he was about to say, I'm busy. But notices something. Oh! Bro, the priest got his head cut off. What? <laughs> no! No freaking way, bro. Are you kidding me right now? Look, they raised up the daughter. And the daughter goes into the carriage. Cuts her dad's head off, bro. Cuts the priest's head off. That is so unexpected. I did not expect. We didn't even see her get up. Bro, come on. And the evil look on her, man. Now he's now Gus gonna have to kill her a second time or something. The daughter throws the priest's head down. So Gus seems shocked out of his mind because he I'm pretty sure he didn't expect that. Right? So Guts now is just standing there in shock with the with the um the daughter heading towards him looking so normal but still is not she's not real she's dead so puck calls out to 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 guts 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 wow wait a minute he's gonna take no she walks she walks up to him stabs him in the stomach it seems and he just takes it why yeah, he got stabbed. And Guts just takes her whole torso off. I'm pretty sure it he, he doesn't seem like he wanted to do that. But he had to. He just cuts her whole torso off, man. It's like, tch, wow. Stop. Then he got blood on him. We got one, um, one of the 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 skeletons over Guts' head, about to chop him, but you ain't ready for prime time. Guts cuts him down. Seems like some sort of what is that? Something. Look like um a hand over Guts mouth go. He starts to vomit. Is it was this is this his hand? Whose hand is that that went over his mouth? It's like watch out. So so um Puck is trying to warn him about something cuz look like they're about to attack him again. So the spear, they got him with the spear. One of them got him with the spear. He's still there, and he's 
still like throwing up something. I don't know what it is, but he's throwing up like crazy, foaming at the mouth. He falls over. They miss, barely missed him with the spear on the ground to his face. It's crazy, man. The guts gets up and he's mad, bro. He is mad. He's like, yeah, let's go. Yo, and he goes ham. He's ready to finish this. He's ready. He's going in on these skeletons right now. He's going in. He's hacking. He's slashing. He's showing them what this sword can do. Why he's called the Black Swordsman right now. Look at this guy, man. He's going in on these fools, man. Straight savagery right now. That's why I said there's got to be some sort of spiritual energy towards these sword in this sword because it's killing these evil spirits these dead men so he finally gets out of it right finally gets out of it boom he's leaning on his sword he is exhausted man he's exhausted we got but now the spirits are coming out of the skeletons man because now they don't really have a body to go into right so puck comes over to check on him and puck says i guess it's, i guess it's all over but man it looks like he really he, that's so sad that the spirits took over the, the um the daughter's body like i did not expect i did not expect that like that just came out of left field because uh but if was actually paying attention to what really was going on and what was said was that it's that's what the, the, the spirits around there do they take on these dead bodies right they take on these dead bodies and use the bodies to attack so um so he was looking basically looking at looking at the daughter over there just laying there Half of the body just laying over there. And Puck says to him, it wasn't your fault. And he busts out laughing, bro. He busts out laughing. It's the mechanism. It's like, yeah, that's true. You're absolutely right. He's smiling his face out. He's like, like I said, anyone who gets killed because they got caught up in someone else's fight is a small fry. If they can't live their life freely, they're better off dead. Those two didn't have the strength to protect themselves from a walking disaster like me. That's all there is to it. If you're always worried about crushing the ants beneath you, you won't be able to walk. You won't be able to walk. Wow. So Puck is like astonished why he's saying this. It's like, what's that? So they start, are they, so they, so Puck can hear the voices now, so it's like, oh, I'm guessing these are the spirits that just came out, it's like, it's useless, you cannot run from us, we're always watching you, you belong to me, you are ours, whenever you go, we will find you, we are always watching you, ha 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 ha, your blood, your flesh, your bones, your ears, your eyes, and your heart, we want your heart. So long as you have that brand. Yes, so long as you have that brand. Wherever you are, you belong to us. You cannot run from us. Your anger, your sadness, your pain. So Guts finally um, <laughs> says, shut up. And they keep saying, all of them belong to us. So he's, what is he, cursed? He must be, it seems like the brand is a curse. They just say, shut up. It's like, even your fear. Okay. So he fires off the, 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 the arm gun or whatever. I don't know what to call it at this point. The arm, the arm cannon. That's what I'm going to call it. The arm cannon that he has. He fires it off. After he gets upset. And then. 
I guess the voice has stopped. Okay, so the voice has stopped. And then he just, as always, flashes cold like a badass and walks off. It's like, so Puck is a little bit concerned about him now. So she, um, Puck is Puck is looking around, and and then he's thinking to himself, "This is the world Guts lives in." Yeah, it's sad. This is always being chased. He's always being chased. So this was a very good chapter, man. Very good chapter. A little bit of insight, as I said at the beginning, <laughs> at the beginning of this video. I didn't exactly know what to think about what's going to happen here. Because I was like, uh, hopefully they they um, teach us a little bit more about the brand, which we did learn and stuff like that. So I hope you guys stick around for my review. Um, as I'm saying that, I, re I have not uploaded the review for the, fir for the first video yet. That's weird because I never usually forget, but I'm going to make sure that it's f the one for this is up. I still have not. I probably probably have deleted it, too. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. Hope you guys um, stick around for the review, and I will see you guys for that. Or if you're watching this on the Google Drive, make sure you go back and check out the review on YouTube. All right. Thank you guys for watching, as always. See you guys for the review. Alright, so that chapter was fairly short, um, so what I'm about to say right now, according to what I just read through the chapter right there, I wanted to do, that. don't get me wrong, I wanted to do more, but I really don't have time to do more right now, so, um, so I'm gonna leave it at that, um, so I hope you guys check out this um, this chapter, man. This chapter was was very long. It was like seventy something pages. Regardless, it's just that it ran fast because there wasn't a lot of dialogue. It was more for us to understand a little bit more about the brand. The brand, as what I can say, let's let's talk about it. The brand, in my opinion, right now, didn't get us a lot of information about it. But from what I gather, it seems like it's a curse. It seems like they, I don't know, a spirit cursed them with this brand and it gives them abnormal. I think the brand has something to do with his powers or his strength. I don't want to say power yet because I don't, I, I haven't seen him use any power per se. It's more of like his strength i want to say his strength is unusual strength that he has and and the, the 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 um the power to kill spirits i i believe that the sword has spiritual energy it has to have something because i mean imagine somebody's looking at you and and telling you there's too many of them you can't kill something that's already dead you have to have some sort of spiritual power spiritual um energy to be able to fight something that's already dead right so usually when it comes on to when it comes on to the the, the situation when it when it comes to demons angels and all of this other stuff in whether it be manga tv shows anime whatever the situation is there's always some sort of connection to a dark energy or light energy right that causes them our magic per se um that causes um these characters to be able to battle against these things so that's what i'm thinking it might end up not even being that but that's what i'm thinking right now and i think it has a lot to do with the brand itself that's on his neck right it i think as i was I, as i was reading through it and i was t talking about the um when it bleeds i think when it bleeds i think there is that's how he can sense when a spirit is coming you get what i'm saying or a, or an unusual spirit is or a spirit is doing something a spirit is close you know what i'm saying may not be coming for him specifically but 
you know it gives him a a type of sense that's what that that's just what i'm interpreting right now it might turn out to be something totally different but from what i'm understanding i'm um in a certain aspect i like puck but in certain aspect aspects right now as of now i don't really like him because he's a bit annoying he's a bit like he's he's the the thing you don't want around right now because but he he does provide um um a sense of urgency um and calling out guts he's like puck is the character in this manga right now he's the observer he's us he's seeing things from our perspective and seeing this guy that he met that saves him don't want to uh, don't want to acknowledge the fact that he actually saved him and it's just i think this whole this personality that he has it is a act that's what i'm thinking i think he does feel but he doesn't want to show it because he wants to remain as ruthless as possible so that no hesitation is there and he did hesitate to kill the daughter so i know that all those actions so far in in this manga actions are speaking louder than words so i can't really listen to what he has to say unless he's actually talking about something serious like when he like in like in this chapter when he's talking about um when he's talking about people and talking about if they can't defend themselves then you know they, they they deserve to die and all this other stuff i think that is just all an act like a protecting yourself uh mechanism that he uses to to not connect with other people i think it's 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 a psychological um battle for him you know what i'm saying like he doesn't want to show weakness because if maybe he feels like if he shows weakness like he's not going to be able to do what he's supposed to do as i.e in this chapter when you saw when when you see when when she stabbed him when the daughter i think her name is colleen right when she stabbed them with the spear that should have not have happened because it, you know if we all know if it was a spirit he wouldn't have even touched them because look at all those skeletons that were coming after him um dead that was coming after him and he was just clearing them out boom 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 why did he allow her to stab him why because in that moment he didn't feel it didn't feel right and i think when you hear him go on these long monologues about people i do think that's not really him i really don't i think he does that because of that has it causes that kind of hesitation you know what i'm saying um if it's a if you know it, it was very hard for him to to um because i mean this girl was so nice to him you know so it would have been so dull you know me you know what i mean it would have been so dull if they if they had not if he had not shown any any remorse or anything um or he even hesitated to kill her because that would have told me a lot more but just for the fact that he hesitated to kill her tells you a lot about his character and this dual personality i love when he's explaining stuff about the spirit this the, the spirit world or not necessarily the world but the world of spirits i should say so and how they operate the things that they do explaining about the incubus the incubi whatever the situation is so i love when he's explaining stuff like that because he's the one that's got to do that because apparently this elf has no idea what the hell is going on so so we got to get those tidbits from him so those points are interest interesting it's interesting to hear him talk about you know how he really how he feels about people but i don't i really don't think that's how he really feels you get what i'm saying when he's like what do i really care about these people anyways you know what i'm saying like that's the kind of stuff you say to protect yourself you get what i'm saying to protect yourself from feeling from keeping yourself you know you put up you use those words as a wall right you use th those words as a wall so 
I'm really loving the character so far. I, I think Puck is gaining a little bit of understanding of who he's messing around with, like who he's trying to stay with, you know, because right now he's not providing any guidance of any sort. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just there like every time they get they get attacked, he's panicking out of his mind. Watch out! Are you all right, guts? No. <laughs> so that's where Puck is. So um, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's only because I'm reading it, because I'm pretty sure they they might include some dialogue in like maybe the anime that is not in the manga, just to to make Puck not seem so annoying. You get what I'm saying? Um, so for him, for him to be there and, ex and, and experience what he's experienced and he's like the, the audience, he's like us, we're reading the manga, but he's there experiencing it and we're seeing it through his eyes, the, the two different people, you know what I mean? The two different people, because he's not a one dimensional character. And I love that. I love the fact that he has a psyche that's bothering him. I love that. So I'm guessing that as we go along, we're going to learn so much more about this guy, man. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. So thank you guys for watching as always. Um, this was a very short one. I think this took me about 30, like 30 minutes to get through this chapter. Wasn't that bad. Um, so that was pretty cool, man. Thank you guys for watching as always, man. Just remember to subscribe to the channel. There's more of these to come. As I said, I'm going to try to do two. When you get two, you just get two. But I definitely promise you that you'll get one of these read-throughs per week. Hopefully, I can get through more than one chapters in the future. But for now, um, I can only do one right now, at least for this one. Maybe next time, I'll try to do two. But for now, that's all it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, man. Uh, this not, or read-through, whatever you want to call it. Reaction, read-through, read-through, reaction. <laughs> However you want to call it, I ever want to see it. So thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.